the how build uh, contract opti optimized equation answer uh, system. And uh, uh, I study about uh, uh, the language chain and uh, how uh, I can use uh, language chain about the application of uh, uh, it. And uh, um, also I try to uh, uh, practice uh, some uh, code and uh, I try to uh, do it by uh, RAG system. Uh, by, by using uh, the provided uh, data by I mean by the provided um, the doc document and uh, uh, the problem I faced is uh, I asked uh, open I open AI key but uh, no one uh, respond for me so uh, that's what uh, I did uh, in the previous day thank you Okay, thank you, Abdul. Uh, did you forward your question on the channel? Uh, who did you ask for OpenAI key? Yes, I asked. Uh, I asked uh, Ramat. I also uh, I asked uh, Yabibal, but uh, uh, Ramat uh, she said ask uh, Yabibal, but he, he didn't respond for me. Okay, I'll make sure to get back to you after the stand-up. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Uh, so how are you feeling, Haptama, today? How are you feeling about the submission? Do you think you'll make it, uh, or do you feel like you're behind? Uh, I tried. Uh, I, I think uh, I can do it uh, because uh, this uh, topic is uh, not new for us. Uh, because we know about uh, the rag, uh, how we do it, and uh, uh, about the language. So uh, uh, my problem is only uh, my problem now is only um, to get uh, the uh, open AI key. So if I got it, I can do it. I hope I can do it. Okay, okay, great. So, Fanel, we can go next. I think you're ready. Okay. Uh, hi, Rodas. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, yesterday, uh, um, I did research mostly, but uh, as I said before, like I tried to implement a simple rug, which works fine with GPT model. But one thing that we were discussing with the team was, do we need to experiment with other models or are we only supposed to use GPT for this challenge? That's the question that I have. Other than that, uh, for today, I'm going to work on the submissions and you know try to articulate my findings and also try to work on the project more. So that's my report for today. Okay, so how are you feeling? Uh, I'm good. Uh, like, this is, as everyone said, I mean, as Haptam said, this is not a new concept. So on that regard, I'm very comfortable with it, but uh, I'm, I'm still trying to get in detail uh, on what to do, like trying to classify the retrieval and the augmentation part. So I think that will be a bit of a challenge, but I'm optimistic. Okay, okay, that's great. And for your question, you can use any other model uh, other than GPT-4. Uh, and you can also ask on the channel if uh, you're having any issues or whatsoever. Uh, yeah, so uh, about that, like if we're supposed to use other like open source models, I, I think one other question was if we need an instance or not for experimenting. Okay, I'll make sure to ask Yabuban and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Or Thanks. I think Amtin An is also on the call. If you have any answers for Panwin, you can also speak up. Uh, yeah, it's um, um, he was asking about if he wants, if we need to just use GPT or uh, experiment. Of course, what he said was correct. Uh, like you can experiment if you like uh, try 
like if you can find something um models that work better of course try that and uh, if you will get an assist uh, an instance or not this will depend on like what uh, yababa would say but for now just um try what you can with the resources you have okay thank you okay okay great uh next i think it's uh Yvonne. yeah Yvonne, you can go next so good morning everyone um this week is a bit easy because the context the concept is not that new uh so far i have been able to um, chunk the data. I have done chunking. I have looked for ways to chunk, studied it, and done it. So far, to, I am currently looking into open source embedding models and their speeds. Um, I have seen some models that are open source and have really good speed and also ha are good at semantic retrieval. But the problem is you kind of need an instance to run those models. It is so hard to run them using Google Colab or Kaggle notebooks. So that was one of my requests. If we could kindly get an instance, that will be amazing. Uh, today, I just plan to work on my submission and yeah, continue with that, with what I'm doing with the embedding part and the, also the rug part. Yes, thank you. That's all. Uh, I have a question for you, Vaughn. Yes. Yeah. So you said you didn't like. Uh, of course, your report is great. Um, I'm just uh, like I want to ask about like the part about chunking. You said I done. You said I done the chunking. I tried several things and I yes. done it. So, yes. uh, how did you decide that you are done with it? Like, have did no, you evaluate uh, it in a way? Um. No. No. I, I have just done the chunking bit, the practical bit. I am yet to evaluate it because I can't evaluate it before I embed and see how the model is performing. Then yeah. that's when I'll know if my chunking is correct or I need to go and chunk again. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. of course. It's not, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not about getting like uh, correct yeah. or not, but like you have to how it performs and then you can improve yeah. it. Uh, yeah. yes. Yes. Great. yes. So that's what I plan on doing. I plan on creating the model, then check how it's performing, then go back and chunk again if it's not correct. Yeah, okay. it's just trial and error. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. So you have yeah. like, if you can learn several ways to do it and then you can then yes. later on evaluate and choose from them. Yes, yes, that's great. Yes. That's great. Uh, great work. Who's next? Okay, next um, is Harvey. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Rodas, and everyone. Um, so yesterday, uh, after um, after reading the uh, documents and watching the videos provided, um, I started implementing the q and a rug and it, it it's working and it's running so my next step would be evaluating that uh, rug uh, using ragas since i didn't do the evaluation in the, the prompt generation rug uh, challenge so my plan for today is start with Ragas and writing the uh, reports. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, great. Any blockers? Not really. Uh, as I said yesterday, the LibreOffice on Ubuntu doesn't really, uh, or it's not compatible with uh, Microsoft documents so some of the uh, texts are a bit crunchy so i just convert it to pdf and load that to the uh, um, the, the the embedder for planking and yeah so that that that's not um a blocker i, I guess yeah 
Thank you. Okay, great. So let, let's consider it as solved and you're not having any uh, instance or open AI key issue. Uh, I think the, the previous open AI key is working somehow. Um, I, I don't know. It's it's working. It, it's connected with OpenAI API. Um, uh, I don't think uh, maybe if we when we move to the uh, open source LLM, uh, we might need an instance. Uh, I'm not sure about that yet. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Binyam, you can go next. Okay, am I audible? Hello? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, your, your voice is a bit square, but yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, how are you guys? I hope you're having a Sorry, Binyam. We can't, we can't really hear you. Okay. Okay. Is it, uh... oh, okay. Yes. Yes. It's better. Okay. Um. So uh, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh. Yeah. My previous two days were somehow good. I have started, you know, uh, implementing the Q and A chain uh, for the rag and building API endpoints, and I'm kind of trying to test them. You know testing my APIs for, you know, loads and how many requests they can handle. And if they fail, I'm going to use a load balancer and stuff. So, so far, um, I have also experimented with, you know, multiple vector databases, trying to identify the ones for which are, you know, so good at retrieval speeds and latency for the average user, because I think the challenge uh, is asking us to you know, identify potential you know how to scale the rag system for you know so many users so i'm trying to work on that uh, scope uh, while also trying to implement it at the simplest level uh, yeah and i have uh, picked the the front end of the of the rag and so many other um, uh, apis such as uh, sign up and login and um database and security yeah so the part that i'm on right now is uh, trying out different um, evaluation uh, frameworks such as ragas and true links um, i'm actually currently working on that part so since everything has worked smoothly so far uh, i hope i won't face so many problems trying to evaluate uh, this is my progress so far and yeah, the API key is working. So in order to work with uh, multiple open source uh, language models, well, I might need uh, an instance, but I don't think that's necessary because the document says choose the best language model. And I think OpenAI has the best model so far uh, from you know other blogs that I've read, trying to do uh, rags and evaluations on them. So GPT-4 and GPT-3 Turbo are you know the top two kind of uh, LLMs that are available out there. So I don't think that would be necessary, but just to showcase, uh, we might need some, yeah. So this is my progress so far. Thank you so much, everyone. Just one clarification, maybe. We're not gonna provide an instance this time. So I think, yeah, if you use, maybe if you wanna try Others like you can use or call here and other APIs that you can find open for free. So yeah. it's you don't expect there's gonna be any or instance that you will have. Okay, yeah, no problem. So just, I mean, I think it's okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Binia. Uh, next, we will have uh, Abi. Good morning, everyone. So uh, I have read uh, all the most of the resources that was provided in the document, and also I was able to learn the deep AI courses uh, on LangChain, and it was helpful. Very, it uh, gave me insights on agents and everywhere, everything very well. So. 
after doing that, I have selected a database, a vector database, and I have installed it in my Docker, and I'm trying to uh, implement it uh, in a way that it satisfies this document uh, specifications. Uh, after doing that, I was able to chunk the data with just a specific number, which is 1536, and uh, I'm trying to evaluate that uh, specific chunking method and the uh, embedding method that I've already used. So uh, I, moving forward, I plan to understand the, my evaluation output and uh, try different methods to enhance our uh, results in a better way. I think that's the overall goal of this project. And for today's submission, I believe I can uh, make it on time. And uh, that's my progress so far. And there aren't any blockers yet. And that's, thank you very much. Okay, okay, great. Thank you so much for the detailed updates, Abby. Um, Binyam, I think, okay. Uh, Berhan, you can go next. If you're speaking, we can't hear you, Veron. Okay, should I should I proceed? Am I audible? Yes, yes, we are. Good morning. Okay. okay, good morning, everyone. Um, this day was productive. I was trying to browse a lot of things and try to see what we can improve and what we can create. And for today, I will um, I'm thinking to deep dive into implementation and writing reports and um, figure out new things along the way. Thank you. Okay, okay, great. Any blockers you're having? Any uh, open AI key issues there or anything? Uh, not much of a thing till now. Okay, great. Okay, uh, next we will have Alexander. Alexander, you can speak up. Okay, good morning. Do you hear me? Yes, Hello. We can. Yes, okay. we can. Good morning. Uh, Okay, thank you. Uh, yesterday, I have uh, as many says the RA concept is not for all of us uh, because we have done more than two projects. So uh, yesterday, I only concentrate on the language chain resources and read and watch all the videos that provided on the challenge document. I try to understand it, and uh, when come to the project progress, uh, I prepare my data for uh, chunk it and try to select uh, vector database. I try to struggle with PostgreSQL and uh, Chroma DB. Uh, I try both of them side by side. Uh, when uh, performs well, I shift uh, one of the databases. Uh, regarding to today's deliver, I try to submit on time. Mm. This is my progress. It is okay for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Alexander. Are you having any blockers? Uh, still no, there is only blockers. I try to use the uh, previous open IK and uh, I uh, use uh, Google Collab as uh environment there is only blocker facing still now okay. no okay that's blocker. great okay thank you that's okay. great uh next next we will have uh basile basile you can speak up uh hi guys can you hear me yes you can good morning uh, good morning, Rodas, and good morning, everyone. So, yeah, yesterday, uh, mainly, I was just, again, researching and trying to figure out, like, a design flow before I get started. Uh, and then I got to do a bit of design. And, yeah, today I am trying to uh, see if I can extract the data and play around a bit with it and then see if I can store it in the vector database. Uh, as many of you said, uh, we did do this project before, but we did not do it to the precision level that uh, we did this time. 
So yes, just trying to experiment with that and hopefully finish with my report as as soon as possible before the deadline, if possible. Yeah, so that's the plan for today. Thank you. Great, thank you, Basile. Uh, next, we will have Mikas. Mikas, you can speak up. If you're speaking, we can't hear you. And if you can't speak, please make sure to tell us on the comment section. Okay, okay. Uh, we will have Elias next. You guys can speak now. Elias. Hello, good morning, guys. I'm Adam. Yes, sir. Good morning. Can Good morning. Yesterday, um, I tried to implement a simple write from previous knowledge from the projects that I have done and uh, researched most of my time. I spent on researching because this, this project is mainly about uh, improving our retrieval and every other component. And uh, every, comp every part of the project will uh, depend. The accuracy of the result. So, uh, specifically, I was reading on chunking methods, which we have to play with the speed and accuracy of the uh, retrieval. And uh, I tried to select uh, the optimum one. And also, I tried to select the vector database for the product. And uh, that, that's what I have been doing yesterday. And today, I'm working on the uh, today's uh, mission and also on the project. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you, Elias. Uh, are you having any bloggers, uh, any issues? Mm, about about OpenAI key, I tried to reach to Fukurta and she provided me one, so you can ask her. And there is no blocker so far. Okay, okay, that's great. Okay, next, Aaron, you can speak up. Hello, everyone. Yesterday, I have uh, tried to understand the RAG pipeline and the evaluation uh, of uh, the RAG using RAGAS. Uh, almost, uh, I, have, I, have, I have got the main concepts of this challenge, and I have implemented the RAG pipeline, and I tried to figure out the evaluation methods, but uh, there is a broker. Uh, I, I don't really know how to use the evaluation data set for the uh, RAG test. I tried to figure out this one. Uh, I, and uh, I, I, am, I have done the interim report, and I will continue to work on that. So, I have learned all about this. Okay, okay, great. Uh, that anyone here has an answer for Aaron's uh, question? Aaron, can you repeat uh, your question? Yeah. I have not get so well about the uh, the, the, the test data set how to use to, to, to evaluate the RAG using RAGAS. Uh, we, um, I mean, with the two document files as our questions. So how to make to design in order to evaluate the RAGAS? Anyone knows it? Uh, tell me. Anyone here uh, would want to provide answers? So, Alan, just to clarify, you are trying to use uh, RAGAS for evaluation? Is that your question about? Yeah, uh, the misunderstanding was you know, how I use the data set. That means the uh, test uh, data set. What I mean, the general tools and the answer, the context, 
how to use the our document files for uh, for the evaluation how to prepare it i if you can give me some hints to do it so you have um okay, can you hear me yes okay sorry um so like uh, the data set the value so there is ragged which is ragged you can use for evaluation even without the data set because they have their own basically like and you can evaluate different parts of your rag using the using the ragged but uh, talking about the data set you have the evaluation data set it has a, like a data that like you can test your whole your whole, your whole rag pipeline because the rag pipeline you're building is supposed to take a document, a, a contract, and answer, get questions and answer them, right? From the from the contract, right? And the data set you have is exactly that. You have contracts and questions and ground truth answers. So you can use them to evaluate your whole pipeline to see if it works well with with a with an actual contract then you can actually measure this performance because you have like the questions you have the contract that you're supposed to use um for your rag and then you have the ground truth answer so can you see how like do you understand how you can use them or like are you asking about the technical part more Yes, in demand. Uh, my question is just like, what, 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 uh, what is the difference between the synthetic data set and the uh, our data set in order to use for evaluation? I mean, I, 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 I say, I have talked about there is a question and answer in the in our documents. Yes. I have, I have seen in synthetic data, there is context, ground truth, answer, and question. Uh, wait, sorry, uh, which, which data that has context, ground truth, and answers? Uh, which data are you talking about? The automatic generated synthetic data, I think, uh, maybe. Is that what this part of the, like, is this, is this linked in the document? Is it like uh, document? No, uh, in, the, um, in the reading material, I see. The reading material. So, okay. Um, I don't know, are you referring to the data that is provided in a separate uh, data folder? That one? Or it's it's like one of the ones that's linked in the material. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Sorry, I a bit. Uh, I will, say, I will send on the chat message. Go ahead. Yeah. I will send uh, on a chat. Okay. Okay. Send me because I, I sorry I don't understand what you're talking about exactly. Um, I think uh, I think yeah, yeah, I want to provide answers and also Alexander. Okay. Um, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't done it, but what we need to do is uh, first of all, we are not going to use any synthetic data for this project. They want us to evaluate it using their uh, evaluation set. So we need to find a way to uh, convert those uh, docx files somehow into uh, a formatted uh data like either uh, json or csv uh just like uh was it uh, not nile somebody showed us uh, to uh prepare the uh, evaluation data like the ground truth uh, answers so we need to figure out uh to convert that doc file into uh, a structured one yeah that's what I want to say. Okay, so this is a question, sorry, uh, about 
uh, I haven't done it myself, but uh, isn't like long chain have uh, ways to like you can basically inject any kind of uh, data files? Basically, like they have like several can use several file types. Basically, from what I read, it's not that true. Uh, I think we can use uh, PyDoc, uh, which will help us to read the uh, texts. Mm -hmm. From there, and then we have to uh, structure it uh, okay. using a for loop dictionary, blah, blah. Yeah. I see. Uh, yeah, so from what I understand, I don't think this answers Aaron's question. Does this answer your question, Aaron? Yeah, I got uh, some context uh, from Yaya. Yeah. He said that uh, uh, I should uh, find the way to handle the question to change into the the form of JSON or other formats. Okay. So, okay. That, if that answers your question, that's great. But I would, um... If not, we'll be having a Q&A session in like 30 minutes. So, uh, we'll oh, make okay. sure to add. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Okay, great. So next we will have Ms. Kana Naon. I think if they shared us on the chat. So Ms. Kana, you can speak up. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, my progress so far yesterday, I was focusing more on the research. So I tried to look into the resources. Uh, also, I take some courses, so uh, I try. I tried to look into the deep learning guys language chain course. I tried to look into the uh, Ragas documentation to understand how we can do the Rag evaluation. I think now I have uh, concepts to start the implementation, and my plan for today is uh, to implement simple Rag and to work on the interim submission. Yeah, that's my bit. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Uh, any blockers? Yeah, so far I don't have any blockers. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, now you can go next, and then I think I missed Melat. Melat, you can go last. Can you hear me? Good morning, yes. guys. So uh, yesterday I was able to go and look into the documents in, in a more deeper level, and then uh, I was trying to choose the chroma DBs that I should be using, uh, and I was trying to compare them based on their uh, retrieval speed and all other metrics, and I ended up choosing one of them. Uh, I, besides that, I was also uh, trying to look into another, uh, I mean, uh, the um, uh, models, um, and then I kind of ended up choosing the OpenAI one. So uh, for today, I think I'll be writing all the things that I have been reading and my understanding of the project, as well as what things to make uh, efficient and what holes that we need to be filling within the RAG system. Uh, and hopefully uh, start implementing. I actually have already started implementing it. Uh, I hope I'll be uh, progressing in a much faster way uh, today, so uh, this is the update I have. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, Melat. Uh, are you having any blockers? Um, no, not really. Since it's only been uh, researching and stuff, I think I'll be facing them uh, moving forward from today. Okay, great. So, how are you feeling about today's uh, submission? Are you like feeling behind, or do you think you'll make it? Um, to be honest, I kind of feel a little bit, a little bit of behind uh, because I haven't started writing the document, which basically uh, takes me forever to write documents. So hopefully, I will submit on time. Uh, it's it's a five out of ten feeling I have right now. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, Melat, you can go next. Yeah, now we can speak up. Can you hear me? 
Yes, we can. Good morning. Good morning. So, yesterday, my focus was, uh, uh, I, I was focusing on the, the resources. Uh, I was uh, going through the provided materials. And I was also taking the course on the on deep learning. And uh, today I'm planning to start implementing the project and uh, also side by side working on the submission. Yeah. That's my, my, my progress so far. Okay, so are you having any blockers? I don't have uh, uh, any blockers so far. Yeah. That's good. So, how are you feeling about uh, today's submissions? I'm feeling I, uh, a bit. Uh, be, um, uh, I, I left a, a bit behind, but hope, hopefully, uh, I will submit it uh, on, on time. Okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, anyone? I think Binam, you're raising your hand by mistake, or you can also speak up. Binam. Okay. So we can just wrap wrap up this session. If anyone else who would want to go next, we can take on one or two people. Okay, 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 great. So yes, we will have a Q&A session today. Make sure to gather up your questions or any issues you're having. And Aaron, make sure to address your question on the channel and also on the session as well. So yes, that's all. We can uh, stop the recording. Okay, great. Have a good day, everyone.